Again, welcome to Jazz 313. We're here in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Uh, a ruling just came in America talking about affirmative action. And I want to um, talk about affirmative action and that ruling it was rather disturbing. But I understand everybody is mad at uh, the Hispanic Sonia Sotomoya, I think that's her right name. And then looking at Katanji Brown, you know this is a Republican skewed Supreme Court. Biden says a tragedy in America, but I don't really want to do politics. Really what we're talking about is the Supreme Court ruling, and I'm going to intertwine that with SAT and ACT. For many, many years I have been telling people that the ACT as well as the SAT are not good predictors of African American students in college. Those tests were created by the eugenicists in the 30s to circumvent uh, and perpetuate how to suppress black people. When I see all the money and no child left behind and I see all these principals and superintendents, I can remember years ago I told my teachers I didn't believe in SAT and I still don't, let me make that very, very clear, or SAT. Those are not indicators or predictors of success. And I can cite many, many students who have went on and done great things uh, with low test scores. I don't want to say any names, but really why I'm here, I'm just, uh, America has really shown its true, true hand. Out of the 420 years we've been here, right now I'm in, in Jamaica, I've learned so much about, uh, uh, you know, everybody know about Marcus Garvey and Barb Marley, Usain Bolt, but I learned something about a revolutionary here named uh, Sharp. You need to read about him. But talking about the affirmative action ruling today, I just want to just read a, a, a thing that I got out of uh, off the newspaper, and I must cite it. Uh, just let, let you read right here. This is from Liberal Justice Katija, I guess Katija Brown Jackson, the first black woman to serve. She wrote in the distance, with less than them eat cake oblivious. Today, the course majority pulls the ripcord and announces colorblindness for all by legal fact, fiat. But deeming race irrelevant in the law does not make his life so. Jackson did not participate in the Harvard case because of her past affiliation with the university. And then this other liberal female, Sonia Sotomayor, the first Hispanic jurist on the court, she said that the decision subverts the Constitution guarantee of equal and production, I mean protection of fear that entrenches racial equalities in education. Ms. Sonia, I know you're from Harlem, I mean from uh, New York, from, 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 from the Brooklyn, and you came through the ranks of New York. You're a hardworking lady. I've read your book. I've heard you speak on many, many occasions, and I respect you. But you know and I know. America still ripples and ripples and deal with sexism as well as racism. Being a black man and you being a Hispanic lady, for you to vote and say it's colorblindness in America, that's good in theory. You know and I know, and I can just speak from a six foot eight African American male. Whenever I am in certain places, people are grabbing a purse. When the police stop me, it's four people. So do I believe in affirmative action? No. But this is a wake-up call to urban America, Hispanics as well as blacks. You need to get your own, do your own, because the train of Washington, as Gail Scott Heron say, is 400 years overdue. Uh, we're, we're just going to sit here and talk. I just want you to just think about this. The court ruled today there's no discrimination in America. You know and I know, when you look at what happened in Watts in the, in the, in the, in the early uh, 60s with, 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 with Officer Parker, you look at Rodney, Rodney King, you look at the riots in Detroit in the 60s, you look at Newark, you look all over. You look at even uh, my man up in uh, Minnesota who got choked. Uh, I can't think of his name right now. But, I mean, just we can cite cases on type of cases. The guy in Kansas knocked on the wrong door and the guy shot him. Uh, I don't know if the old 80 year old guy thought he was black or white, but but America is, I love America. You know, I'm, I'm in, I'm in uh, Montego Bay. I mean, smell good here, looking at the mountains. Uh, 
on the resort, playing squash, playing golf, kayak. I mean, doing all the great things. But when I saw that right there, I was on my vacation, I just had to come and speak. You know, parents, do not let these principals and superintendents mess your head up because your kid got a low SAT score and try to divert him or her from uh, their college or their choice. Find a college for that kid. Uh, I, I, you know, all the money that we waste, I can think about all the weekend college things we did to try to get the kids ACT scores up. These tests are inherently racist. You know, the bell curve, can't no tests indicate in one four hour cycle what is in a person's brain. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna just sit here and disparage tests, but I'm just telling urban America, do not fall prey to that foolishness. Today, affirmative action, the Supreme Court, we must respect the laws. We are a nation of laws. They made a decision, six to three, saying that there was no need for the University of Michigan, Harvard case. Uh, now the Asians are saying that they are being discriminated against because they meet all the criteria on the high score. Uh, I feel bad for that particular group. You know, it's, it's, you need affirmative action because some of these colleges on their own will not do good. So that is another wake-up call. The Honorable Elijah Mohammed told us to do for self. Build your own school. I mean, I didn't go to an SBCU. I went to a predominantly white institution, so all of them, you know. Uh, but guess what? I didn't have the best grade point average coming out of high school. I'm be the first to tell you that. But I scored the second best ACT score in my class back in my day. And I didn't even care about the test. Some people can just take tests. Some people can't take the test. Me, myself, and I, if you use my grade point average, I wouldn't have bet on me. So I'm just using myself as an example. I can cite over and over. I know friends of mine who have taken this Michigan State bar, got a perfect score, and and, and, and bobbed out on the ACT. They didn't even care. Uh, I know people who have went and done a lot of great things, but today, today's Supreme Court, the summarizes is up. And I'm speaking on emotion. I feel so bad for Sonia Sotomayor, but she couldn't really do nothing. It really became five to four anyway. The Republicans play a long game. They put it together. They got the court on their side. And it's not even a political thing. America has a lot of healing to do. We have a lot of healing to do. You know, God bless America. God bless the Constitution. God bless all the Supreme Court justices. But today is a day of reckoning. This will go down in history. You know, and they did it right before the 4th of July. They did it kind of sneaky. People are not really talking about it, but I'm talking about it. And my job is, as I tell you, to enlighten and inform you. This is Jazz 313 coming with you from a special from uh, Jamaica, Montego Bay. But I just want to just let you know that we have work to do. And parents, don't be discouraged. This is for parents. Students, do not. This is really for the kids for the kids who are juniors and seniors, if you can avoid it, because some of the colleges don't even care about the SAT score. That's a smoke screen. They have been using the ACT and the SAT to keep you out of elite schools anyway. I mean, University of Michigan, all of them. It's not that they don't want you. They rather get that international money from Saudi Arabia, from China. These are smoke screens to suppress certain segments of America. And I tell people it's two Americas. It's a green America and it's a poor America. You either, that's what it's about. If you got enough money, you can get in. You saw what they did, uh, creating fake, you, you know, the guy, pay to play, you, you know, the guy say he's a world-class squash player or Roy. They don't even have Roy in a certain colleges. You know, uh, Varsity Blues, I think that's what they call it. You know, the rich people are going to always work around this. I'm just telling uh, the parents who don't have the means, don't have the sophistication, follow me. My job, my mission is, is to help you, help your kid. Because these principals and superintendents, some of them really care. But some of them just following the protocol. They are sheep following the state of Michigan or the state of New York or the Department of Education's puppet failure program. They really don't care. They're just implementing. They have no creativity. They are soldiers and sheep. They are not generals and lions. I need you to be the general and the lion of your kids' education. 
Young kids, if you like what I'm doing, you please su subscribe, click, and share. The Supreme Court made a decision today, six to three, that is no such thing as race in America. You know and I know that is a joke. These ACT scores, no matter what you do, if we don't want you in our schools, why go to a place that you're not celebrated and be tolerated? Go to your own schools. Go and, and, and find, you don't have to go to a big prestigious school. I know people say that's very necessary, but guess what? It's a school for everybody. Again, Supreme Court Justice, Today you guys made a grave, grave decision. Uh, a, a, a grave decision that's going to hurt the country. This is not about politics. Uh, because as a black man in America, I don't really spend, this is probably the only one I've ever talked about, some, what has to do with race, but this is a, a, a tragedy in our great country. Do not fall prey for these tests. I did not believe in them when I was a principal. I do not believe in them now. Today, the Supreme Court, as well as a lot of institutions, don't even believe in them. They use all types of rubrics and arbitrarily decide who can come and who can go in their great universities. Again, you need to read about that Supreme Court ruling today. And if you're a junior or a senior in high school, you need to understand that there's systematic policies in place to keep certain people out of their institutions. And we can just get back to talk about how why all these Ivy League schools was created anyway, why the Citadel was created. I mean, you have to understand your history. Understand your history, understand this country. And, and that way, this is a great country, you know. Even me being able to talk about this is, is, you know, some places I can't do this, some countries I can't do this. But again, Supreme Court, you made a, a, this, a, a grave, a painful, decision today. I know you was appointed. I know you probably thought you was doing right, but I just got to tell you, you're doing wrong. And African Americans and Hispanics and some women, uh, we can't look for ACT. We can't look for SAT because they have other rubrics to disqualify you. So quit wasting our time thinking everybody need an SAT and an ACT. Because some of you guys who sit in these positions didn't do good on the SAT or the ACT. Truth be told. Truth be told. So let's quit uh, castrating these kids before they even start their life. Again, thank you. From Jamaica.